Welcome back. So Carly, here in the Bay Area, we love our manatees, right? We think we're right up there and like loving manatees the most. Oh no, we are going to welcome in an actor, comedian, and now animation creator and oh, former Saturday Night Live cast member, Bobby Moynihan, who I'm learning loves manatees so much you decided to make a whole show around them. Bobby, how are you? Yes, I'm doing well, how are you? Manatees. Why a manatee? Why did that inspire you? Why not? They're the most inspiring animals in the world. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone, someone's got to be inspired by manatees, and it's me. Uh, no, I just think they're wonderful animals, and I thought this was a real silly, fun idea. And the world of, of zoo animals and, and having some improv comedians come play them was something that was uh, very appealing to me. So Comedy Central, we should say this is uh, obviously adult cartoons, as you might see a little bit of it there. Uh, we're used to seeing you cartoon-wise in a Secret Life of Pets. Of course, that's where I'm a big fan of you, Mel. Uh, but talk about how much fun it is uh, to do comedy in this way, adult comedy through a cartoon. Uh, that was kind of the appeal from the from the start was uh, I, I love animation and I was learning how to do it and I've been an improv comedian I, I studied at Upright Citizens Brigade for many years and I kind of wanted to try and mix the two and I hadn't seen my friends in a while so uh, we were lucky enough to to be in the same studio and record because uh, we got to record everybody before the lockdown and then uh, I hadn't recorded anything so I have now a uh, recording studio in my closet and recorded the rest of it here and all the, and made it all in a closet pretty much. So I have like this imagination that like comics have this like tight knit group of people that when you get a project, you get the chance to work with your friends. Cause I feel like we see it so much with comedians versus other actors. Just kind of let me know that that is true. You're really one big universe and you all sit around and have coffee or, or go to the bar together and hang out, right? That's how you casted everybody. Yeah, when we first started, it was all about staying up till six in the morning and doing comedy, anything for comedy. And then, you know, the whole dream was, you know, if your friend makes it, they get you a job. And now we're all in our forties, and we're like, "Hey, can you do me a favor? Will you play a monkey you here and just <laughs> <laughs> make it very easy for them? They don't even have to leave their house. You can do it in a closet." So now, you know, that's the only good part. As animation can keep going. <laughs> well, in a world that 2020 has given us so far, we need more comedy. How have you been kind of dealing with all of this? What have you been doing? Where are you finding laughter these days? Gosh, uh, I mean, I've found laughter in all the same places I found it before, but for now it's more to me about making sure that we come out on the other end of this a little bit better than when we went in. This is all happening for a reason. So I I've been taking the time to spend time with my family and, and 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 create, try and create fun stuff to make people laugh. You know, well, I can't think those twenty. You know, the Saturday Night Live skits and how ripe this year is for just pure comedy. I mean, it feels like we. I sometimes they don't know if it's a drama or a comedy that we're living in these days. <laughs> but uh, I mean, again, twenty twenty. What a year! It's always good to laugh. It helps. It's a, <laughs> a wonderful thing. You know, Bobby. I thought I was about all the insanity. Yeah, I uh, I wanted to share with you. What's that? Sorry, go on. I said, just watch a manatee have a nice relationship with his friends. <laughs> That's all we need. It's like going to the zoo. I read without all the smells, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Bobby, I was going to say, uh, one, I thought I was going to be the only one in flannel today, so I do have to make comment about that. The other thing that we've got in common, actually, I worked in Columbus, Ohio for a while, and Nina West used to come on our show in Good Day Columbus, so I love seeing oh, Nina's name among hey. everybody else that you're working with. Oh, the greatest, the greatest. Uh, we hit it off. I was a judge on Drag Race, and we hit it off, and the best, the best. Oh, yes. So I fun and wonderful. So glad. Uh, Andrew, I'm so glad Nina came to play. Andrew's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. And that's what, when Nina would come in, I was always like felt, you know, I worked in sports for a long time, so I always felt like kind of short. But then when Nina would broadcast beside you, there was no hope. You knew she was going to outshine you, but still it goes back to Lofi, who's able to outshine all of them, right? Yeah. I mean, she is I, 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 up there with some amazing comedians, you know, improvising with some top improvisers and comedians and completely held her own 
uh, her the episode where she plays Gloria, the, the whole last line is all her. She improvised all of that. She was fantastic. She knocked it out of the park. And you know what? We do want to point out there is uh, this is definitely improvised, right? I mean, we haven't seen a lot of animation being yeah. improvised, which I think is very unique to this show. And I'm sure going to add to the laughs. Yeah, that was the whole the whole purpose was kind of I had never seen that before. I, well, I'm Dr. Katz on Comedy Central. Uh, there was a show called Dr. Katz Professional Therapist that was improvised and I always loved it. And that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of they would have loose baselines. We would be like, so in this episode, Lofi is overwhelmed and needs an assistant. So then we would just kind of improvise around that and piece together what we had. It was, a, it was an interest. It made it a lot harder for us as far as work, but it was, it, it, I think it paid off because it just sounds different than other cartoons. Well, and again, this world needs more laughs these days. Bobby, thank you providing that to, for providing that content. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you for having me. Pleasure here too. Thank you. Take care.